other mother. I customized, don't I? Okay, let's start that over. Scratch that. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. It's your girl, Marley Aquafina. Charleston it is day one of our 30 day stripper challenge and I had to really fight myself to get up and go to work today I'm like girl do you really want to do this right now but whatever we doing it so this is a very well this is not a vlog well no we're gonna start this one as a vlog so yeah we on our way to Charleston so I'll talk to you guys when I get to Charleston okay all right Oh my god, I got a mosquito bite. They have money coming. This is like one of my home clubs in Charlotte. You can't dance by the bar. I hate that. That's where you be making the money. I'm gonna do a little stretch. I painted my toenails, so. <clears throat> So I'm gonna wear these heels tonight. I haven't been wearing these in the last vlog because my toenails were been pregnant. gonna keep it simple and cute tonight which means I'm just going to I haven't ate tonight this is scary you think I'm scary no they got cameras in here so I don't want to act too much of a fool because they might be watching me but I feel skinny tonight baby I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a little simple outfit to start the night off then I might start to go a little hard or whatever the case may be. I don't really got no hard outfit, so I, I really just want to make some money tonight so then I can buy me a new outfit. Cause, yeah, I want a new outfit. Yeah. I want a new outfit. Bones just be cracking up in this bitch, don't it? I want to make some money tonight. Period. Period. I look cute. Hold on. Let me take my shirt off. And they got day shifts. I did not know they had day shifts. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars house fee. That ain't shit. I got my cousin pants. Okay, let me let me get ready for it. Ain't nobody out there, but I might so get ready. I'm hype, like I'm ready, I'm ready. P, I'm ready, let's get this money. Okay, so we up in this bitch, Gen Generation X. Y'all already know I'm a fat bitch. So, we up in here, the lighting in here is top notch, can't care. I don't like to wear makeup, so. Once I get hired at a white club and it's worth it, I will wear makeup. For now, I'm not wearing no fucking makeup. I'm gonna fuck. <clears throat> I'm about to see if they got some food. So if they do, I'm gonna go order me something to eat. And I don't eat meat. So it's gonna be something small, something simple. Maybe. 
I might not order nothing, no. I might not order nothing. Yeah, I might have made this bag, so now I got my big bag. So, I just want niggas to be fucking with me tonight. Fuck with me tonight. Fuck with me tonight, bro. Period. And lift my titties up a little bit. I be moving my ass. That shit don't be moving. Let's get it popping. So tip out was sixty dollars. They said eighty, but they took a video of me saying it was gonna take twenty dollars off my tip out. So sixty dollars, and I made a hundred and ten dollars so far. But I just spent one hundred and thirty-five dollars on the outfit. <laughs> $135 on a motherfucking, no, two outfits, two outfits, which is so cheap, like, two outfits for $135, one was 65 and the other one was, like, 70 like, well, hop on it, because I need new outfits anyway, so I had to come to my car, bam, let me stop, let me stop, because I might rob me, let's take a little shoddy shot while we in a car, this nigga, oh, no, he did buy me a drink. Not me on day one of my 10K stripper challenge, but spending $135 on, a, on outfits. <laughs> Whatever, we like. Turn up. Let's make this bread. Period. <laughs> Say hey to Dior. Most people you don't just say that. Can you let me pet him? Can you let me pet him? Yeah. Do I have him on only like right here? Say hey to Dior. I hope it's not scared. 
I promise he's a bitch. He don't bite on her. If you get too loud, he'll try to come find Bart, Bart, please stop. Is this a fucking rabbit? I think he's kind of scared. No, he is fucking Day one of the stripper challenge complete, and our dad has spent two hundred dollars. Well, not two hundred dollars. Well, yeah, two hundred dollars because sixty dollars for tip out, and then um, one thirty-five for the outfit. Sixty dollars for tip out, and then one thirty-five for the outfit. Well, honestly. Seventy dollars on tip out because I just had to tip out that one guy right there, which is like, yo, like when ain't really no money in there, y'all need to figure out like who really making money and is it this? Y'all need to figure out who I, I went the wrong way. Who really making money and who not because well, I did make some money, then I spent it. <laughs> I hate tipping out the motherfucking everybody. Like, yo, that shit is dumb because we tip you out for nothing. Like, you know, when it be places like, I guess, big big clubs where people really be doing stuff, then, okay, tip them out. But when don't nobody be doing nothing, like when I get on stage and you ain't hyping me up and you ain't doing all of that extra shit, then why the fuck should I have to tip you out? The fuck? And then as a new girl, cause y'all be treating, they be treating the new girls like shit. Like, and a lot of clubs that you go to is rare. Now I've been to clubs where they show like love to the new girls and they, yo, we got a new girl on stage. Ooh, look at her. Damn. Bam. Oh, you broke. You don't got no money. I ain't throw no money in here. You broke. Blah, blah, blah. Like y'all got to antagonize the fucking customers because if not, then they ain't going to throw no motherfucking money. And that's that club that I work at in fucking Greensboro. The men, they don't got no DJ there. So they don't got nobody like poking at the customers, letting them know like, yo, this is what you here for. So spend that motherfucking bread. And I hate that. But I'm about to stop somewhere over here and kind of like count my money real quick. Maybe get me some water. And then I got about a, a two hour drive. I hate it, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna lie, they was throwing bread tonight. And if I didn't spend all that money on that fucking outfit, I probably would have had a lot of bread, but. It is what it is. Y'all, yeah, like, it's so dark out here. Please don't step out. I told my grandma, oh, so I'm gonna stay in the house. Open the door, bro. I'm glad I made it home. Like, I just had the weirdest fucking interaction, like, with this guy. And that shit don't piss me off. <sighs> I'm not gonna let it go in, man. Okay. I gotta go ahead. We lock the back. Mm. I'm gonna have to tell you on a little bit because that shit really pissed me the fuck off. Like, I'm talking about, I done had a good ass night. Not even a good ass night, but. It was a straight night, man. Like, I bought two outfits, which make, make it a good-ass night, man. Like, let me take a shower, and then I'll come count my money. And then we gonna talk about what the fuck I just went through.
Okay, y'all. Uh, we back. This is a bag for the night. Hold on, let me take all of this extra stuff out of it because it's looking a little heavier than what it really is. Let me show y'all, and I think I got a 20 in here that was already mine, but let me show y'all the bag. So I'm gonna organize this, and I got my cousin work shirt, but I'm gonna organize this, straighten this up, count it out, but while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk to y'all. So, what got me in my feelings is this guy that I used to talk to, and I haven't talked to him in a few weeks. I did call him the other day to let him know some important shit or whatever, but, you know, he wasn't receptive to the information. You would think that, you know, we had just got in an argument and... I was just calling him like the next couple minutes to tell him some important shit. How his attitude was like he was literally just so standoffish, as if it hasn't been weeks that he talked that he last talked to me or whatever. But I let it go, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like I'm, I'm in my bag right now. Like I gotta go, and I can't let these niggas. These niggas is what got me in the situation that I'm in now. Point blank period. So I, um, so yeah, I let it go. So then, um, today he called me and it's been like maybe a week since I had called him. So today he called me or whatever. And he just be on his bullshit, like point blank period. I'm talking about, since when he called me, like when he called me, when I first pick up the phone, I'm like, hello. He don't say nothing. And this shit is irritating me. Like, it irritates me. He don't say nothing or whatever. So I hung up. So then I call him back. And he's like, hello. As if I call him. He's acting like I fucking call him. Which I did call him. But he acting like I had called him first or some shit like that. I'm like, yo, I haven't texted you, called you, nothing. Like, I left you alone. Like, how you act like you want to be left alone. I left you alone. So then, um... He's like, I'm like, hello. He's like, hello. He like, I just got one question. I just got one question. He's like, y'all seen the stripper vlog, which is so crazy. Y'all seen the stripper vlog when I was in Greensboro or whatever. My first coming out of retirement stripper vlog. Very emotional. Very, I don't give a fuck, like... Not, I don't give a fuck, but just very emotional. Like, I'm going through shit or whatever. He's going to ask me, who you been staying with when you was in Greensboro, when you was dancing? These... I'm dead. This is a nail on my thing. I don't even know. That shit funny. But who you been who you been dancing with? I'm not dancing. Who you been staying with while you was in Greensboro? Yo, I've been sleeping in my car, and I've been getting a fucking room whenever I felt like I had enough money and I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker, like, you're lying. I know everybody. I know everybody. And I'm like, it's fucking me up because I don't think anybody would say, like, I don't, I doubt he going around saying, like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is my girl right here, like, and then somebody's like, oh, I know her, like, Oh, she been staying with me, or whatever. If they did, they're fucking lying. Y'all seen what the fuck I was going through in fucking Greensboro? I was an emotional fucking wreck. Like yo, if I was around a nigga, I 
you can bet your last dollar I was not gonna be dancing because that's how I act when I get around niggas. Like, niggas fuck my money up. I don't get no money when I'm with niggas. Period. Like, I don't. I don't. But he's like, you're lying. You're lying. Like, you're a liar. Whatever. Like, I gave you this one chance to tell me the truth and you're lying. Like, he had to be drunk or something. I don't know. But he just. Like, I just hate it. Like, when I'm in my bag right now, like, I'm not worried about niggas. I don't give a fuck about niggas. Then a nigga just come out of nowhere. I don't like that. Uh, but he was, like, hanging up on me, then calling me back, then hanging up on me, then calling me back. Like, the whole ride. Honestly, I'm kind of grateful for it because that's what kind of kept me up kept me a little hype on this two hour drive back to my grandma house but yeah this is the bad for the night <sighs> not much this is just making a bag in there though can't lie I don't even feel like counting this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I feel like I might do a money count at the end of the week. I think I'm gonna do that. I do a money count at the end of the week to see like what it is at the end of the week. So I just show you my stack. This might be a hundred dollars. I doubt it though. But yeah, I spent. I know at least this is my tip I'll bet but I spent 101 I had made 101 earlier but then I had spent 135 on my outfit but I had counted my money to see if I had made enough to pay her or whatever and it wasn't enough I mean it was a little I, actually it was a little less than 101 because I remember I came in with a little bit of money I probably came in I came in with $80. I gave him $60 for a tip out. Then I got me some french fries, which was $5. Then I got me a drink, which was $7, I believe. So that was $12. And I had paid her with that $20. But I feel like she gave me more back. Because I remember having like $8. It was like $8. It was like a 5 and a 3 she had gave me like ten dollars back, so the fives must have been like fucking three dollars or some shit like that. I don't know. She said it was five dollars, but I don't know. With these motherfuckers here, they be lying. Like my blank period, these motherfuckers be lying. But I remember having like eight dollars or whatever, cause I then I had tipped her like two dollars, and I still had eight dollars left over, so. The math is not mapping. Out of twenty dollars, the math is not mapping. So, yeah, that concludes day one of my thirty day stripper challenge. Um, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm a lit bitch, so you better fucking enjoy it. Like, stop playing with me. Be back at it tomorrow. I'm going to a different club. But, yeah, the club I went to tonight was lit. They said the Mondays usually be way more lit than this. Um, I'll be in South Carolina a little more lately. I mean, like, coming up, I'll be in South Carolina a little more. So, yeah, I'm excited to try out all the South Carolina clubs. Because these niggas do be spending bread here. I can't cap. They be spending bread here. So, yeah. I need to get my feet done. I need to get my feet done. But I can't spend no, like, extra fucking money right now. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to count this money tomorrow. Or at the end of the week, I'll count the money. I'm not even that pressed about it. Like, 
and I'm so excited for y'all to see my new outfit. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vloggy vlog. Vloggy vlog. Y'all remember when motherfuckers used to dab and shit? Yeah. Y'all remember when Gabby Douglas did that Dougie? Like, why would she do that? Like, bro, she need to goddamn... She need to pay whatever amount of money that needs to be paid to get all those videos out the fucking internet because that shit is... She was trifling for that. She was trifling for that. But y'all, good night. I'm tired. Bye. Thanks for watching. And now, oh, my regular. I'm talking.